So behind me is a four-wheel drive 2022 Explorer, and this is just an update for anyone wondering about how those vehicles perform in the snow. Let me just say, yeah, it, it's, it's about a week old. Uh, there was a snowstorm up at Big Bear. I normally in the past would have just driven a mammoth during a storm because the storms are treacherous at Big Bear. Uh, the, the, there's accidents, and there was an accident in front of us while we were there. Um, and the road ice is over, and you can slide around. And so it's just smarter, normally, Mammoth gets more snow. It's just an easier drive. It's longer, uh, but it's just usually smarter to go. But it, there was a weird thing going on in that there was going to be like a foot of snow at Big Bear and only two to four inches at Mammoth. And we have this brand new four wheel drive vehicle. And I was like, let's let's test it out. I went with my son. We love we love snowboarding and we went up to look for the powder. So uh, let me just say I'm not a car guy. I not at all, really. I just like them for their utility. I've had three four wheel drive vehicles. Uh, a Nissan Pathfinder that was great in the snow. It was like in the mid 90s. I bought it as soon as I made some money after getting out of grad school. Um, I had a four wheel drive, my wife, we had a four wheel drive Tahoe Z that we bought from my dad for a thousand less than the trade in value. Great vehicle, but we didn't use it in the snow that much. Uh, we've had a two wheel drive Tahoe, which we like, but that was a mistake not spending the extra money for four wheel drive because that's the vehicle that I found too slippery to drive up to Big Bear during storms. Storms. One time there was an accident right in front of us, like 20 cars up. Um, we weren't moving. During that period of time, it iced over, and the car, when we started again, just slipped into the snowbank. It was really slow. I hadn't knew it was going to be a problem, and we had to get pulled out. Um, another time, going down the mountain, there's been accidents in front of us. But this time, uh, we put it on... Um, uh, slippery mode and the computer and slippery mode and these Michelin tires I don't know what it was but it was incredible I went from being a tense almost white knuckle driver in my Tahoe to like driving one hand talking to my son it was no problem um, first I did like as a kid when I when my dad got a vehicle and it snowed I'd take it up to the elementary school parking lot and practice donuts and you know breaking fishtailing and then turning into it which I don't think you necessarily want to do in a four-wheel drive but I learned all about it and that saved me as a kid a bunch of times in snow because uh, I got used to turning into the turns but in this case I was like well there's no cars coming around in this section let's see if I could break it and I could break it a second and and the computer would catch it again it was like it was amazing and it got to the point where I actually was relying on it too much Another time I was coming out of a uphill, I don't know, it was a food place. We got some food and we were coming out of the parking lot. I was, it was like a snowbank I had to plow through, but there was a car coming. And normally as a kid, I'm like, I can't lose the momentum here because otherwise we're gonna get stuck. I put on the brakes, car went by, we just powered right through it. Uh, you could feel the car gripping with the wheels that could grip. It was really impressive. Uh, it was subtle, but impressive. Um, another time going around the turn, I, I, I got so like normally it, it, with a two-wheel drive you'd be like okay I got to make sure I take this turn at the right speed I'll slow down before I get there and I'll make sure I have the power on as I'm going through the turn I was so relaxed I forgot to do it realized I was coming into a turn a little too hard and I I, I took it off and then I, I was concerned that maybe I'll start slipping so I just put the throttle on a little bit and I just felt the car just just absolutely track I was like wow and I'm not entirely sure if it's a computer, the slippery mode, or the tires, but uh, this car, from my experience, not a car guy at all, I'm not trying to sell this car to anybody, it's just for people wondering, it's four-wheel drive good. I would say, in my experience, coming up and down the hill over two days at Big Bear, and night and driving around, I kept telling my son, I can't believe how good this computer is. This computer is so good, it's made me forget everything I know about driving in snow, because I don't need to know it. I just didn't need any of that muscle memory, any of the stuff like that little thing in your head. So, oh, you got to do this. None of it was necessary. The, the slippery mode just took over and, and, and made sure the car was gripping. Um, it wasn't deep snow. It was a few inches and there was some ice sometimes. Um, but it, it really worked in, in my limited um, experience. And the car's only about a week old. Um, if I ever find it perform poorly in the snow, or ice, I will update that video. But for now, uh, based on someone who's not a car guy, not a car buff, but grew up with some snow in New England and has driven snow because he loves snowboarding at Mammoth and Big Bear and sometimes out to Utah, um, this was the easiest vehicle to drive in snow I could possibly ever have fathomed. I mean, the computers are that good. Like I imagine Tesla and their computers like that with, with routing the powers to the axles are, are, are probably amazing 
um, because I felt the computer just totally eliminate my ability, need to be a conscious driver, which, which might not be a good thing, but it's there as backup. Like stay focused and let that computer back you up in slippery mode. Uh, also, if I ever have to try it out in deep snow mode, I'll, I'll update on that. Um, but anyway, Ford Explorer 2022. Uh, this was the, I know there's a few different modes. So it's not the Highlander, it's not the good one. This was, oh, I know, it was the XLT four wheel drive. So that's the, um, that's the rundown. Thanks for listening. Um, Hope you get a great four-wheel drive car if you're looking.